What we're going to show you today is our automatic valve opener being used with our port flow analyzer on this Superflow 300 with uh, a motor controller and a flow com. So you can see here, here is our valve opener. You can see here, mounted from the side, you can see there's a gap there. What the valve opener will do is automatically find the tip of the valve and zero itself out at that is zero lift. And here we got our port flow analyzer software. We got the Superflow uh, 300 running at 10 inches of depression because it makes a lot less noise and it'll be a lot easier for you to hear me as we go through this. So what you'll do here is you press F5, brings up your reading screen, and if we just go, it's establish communications, if we just say press F1 to start recording, you can see it turns the motor on, and we're going to watch here, see the valve, it retracted the valve opener, and now it's found zero lift, and then it's going to go to the first lift point of a tenth of an inch. And here you can see, this is the desired test pressure, the actual test pressure, this is the desired lift, and there it's hard to see, but that's the actual lift. The blue bar means I have found, uh, I'm in contact with the tip of the valve. So it's going to take three readings here at a tenth of an inch lift, and then automatically go to the next lift. Two tenths of an inch. And the motor controller is making it uh, maintain ten inches of depression. So now we're at two tenths of an inch lift. It's set that, it's stabilized. You can tell it how long you want to stabilize. And we're only taking three readings to speed things up a little bit for this movie. And it's going to go to three tenths of an inch lift. There we go. Three tenths. I paused recording for a while because it's just kind of boring in the middle. But you can see here the graph is being drawn. As you get new data in, we're proceeding to six tenths of an inch lift. And if you'll notice, there's a little number in parentheses by valve lift. It goes from eight, nine, ten. That is good for troubleshooting because that tells us if you say it's hanging up on step three, it'll help us try and troubleshoot over the phone what the problem could be. We're at six tenths of an inch lift. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let you watch this, uh, what happens at the end of the test. We're going to go to seven tenths of an inch lift. That's the last point. And it's going to stabilize, record the data. And then the interesting thing is what happens when it gets done. We'll turn the motor off. And then it will check to see if there's been any slippage during the test of this uh, valve opener. It goes back to nearly completely open. And then it pulls back. And it's sensing the whole time whether or not it slipped. And it's, uh, if it slipped, if it thought it slipped, it would tell you, give you a warning message that the valve opener slipped during the test. So you can see here, here's our completed data. No warning messages about the valve opener slipping, and here you can see our, our data. And now you ran a complete test, completely automated. You can walk away once you start it. It'll turn the motor off, and you'll have your complete test. You come back in about five minutes, and your test is done.